back in the big red chair. All right, uh, I've been busy the past week or so, so I haven't gotten a video up. What's been going on? Uh, shot a wedding on Sunday, shot a house this week. Now I've been prepping for a big trip uh, this weekend. Big photography trip. I do this every year between September 15th and October 15th. I try to spend as much time up in Vermont as possible. Shoot foliage, covered bridges, rural landscapes, farms, whatever. It's the fall, this is my favorite time. Eat lots of pancakes, maple syrup, burgers, pizza, craft beer. Can't wait to get up there. Um, so we're gonna have a first trip up this weekend. The weather's been a little iffy. Uh, Burlington, Vermont's been heat wave for three days, 90, 90 degrees for three days. It's, it's the end of September. What? So, going to have to deal with that. Anyway, I hope the leaves are doing good. If I mean, I'm just going to hit the highest altitudes I can. Um, what do I got going on? So, for this trip, I, I'm, I'm packing, putting together all my gear. This is a nice one. It's a road trip, so I get to take as much as I want. Um, some cool stuff. Cannon's hooked me up with some cool stuff for the trip. Um start with oh, well, well we'll start with the uh, Canon uh, 5d SR 50 megapixels of goodness uh, we will be capturing those leaves at ridiculously high megapixels um, ridiculously high resolution looking forward to this uh, I've shot with this body uh, uh, quite a few times it's a lot of fun um, the images uh, I mean, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous seeing a, a 50 megapixel. And then you do a pano with this. I did one this morning. It was it was like 85 megapixels. Um, and that brings me to the next thing Canon hooked me up with. Look at this. Look at this. Boom. Look at that beauty. This is the Tilt Shift 17 millimeter F4. Thing is a beast. Um, great for landscape. Uh, great for panos, keeping your angles straight. Um, it's awesome. It, it, the only thing is when, when you're up close and you start tilting and shifting, um, even a 17 millimeter, you know, you open the thing up to F22, you're still going to be managing your depth of field. So that's a little tricky. Um, but beautiful lens looking forward to getting a lot of shots with it um and uh yeah that'll that'll go in uh with the rest of my kit um what else do i have oh uh so i know it's in here um i had to make a quick purchase and i needed something <laughs> delivered on a sunday and this was the only brand I could get uh, delivered on a Sunday. Literally, I, I ordered it on a, I think I ordered it on Friday night. And this is what I get delivered on on Sunday. Um, it's new uh, filters for the drone. I, I'm concerned about this. I, normally with, with filters, uh, especially my DSLR, I spend as much as you can uh, to get the highest quality, usually B&Ws. And, uh, you know, I, I'll drop hundreds of dollars on one filter. These filters are inexpensive. I'm not going to say cheap. Inexpensive. So we're going to see how they work. They're for the drone. Um, I want to say I paid like 19 bucks for these. The, the brand is newer. Um, they're glass, so that's good. Um, I, I'm just not sure about the, the quality. Oh, look at that. Comes in a nice little pouch. Um, I think I'm saying um a lot. Um, um, um. All right. Look at this. Pouch. Six filters. Again, um, it, uh, 
it's going to be interesting how the, how these work. And these are going to go on my Inspire One. Just taking a look at these. So half of them are 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 ND filters. The other half are ND with polarizer. So that's going to be interesting. This uh, ND8. ND32, ND16 with polarizer, I think we have just a uh, ND8 polarizer, I'm going to go through all of them, ND16, and then what is this oh and this is just polarized okay so these are going to be interesting to check out hey if they work out and they do uh have have high quality awesome save my myself a bundle again if i didn't need these so quickly i i would have went with the uh polar pros or something like that i would have put the money out but i couldn't get those delivered quickly enough so i could get um the drone out on a job that I had. Just one of those things. Um, anyway, I'm going to be doing a lot of posts. I, I'd like to do a post. I don't know if I'm going to get them up right away, but uh, I want to post from all the days I'm up in Vermont. So expect a lot of content coming from me soon. And I don't know. I, I hope you enjoy uh, some some leaf peeping, some good old fashioned New England maple leaves and yeah rural photography anyway uh if you like this content like it if you want you can comment say something nice say something mean i don't man don't say anything mean um subscribe subscribe to the channel that'd be great and uh tell tell your friends about it you know Send, send smoke signals and let everyone know what I'm doing here. All right. I will see you from Vermont or on my way. Bam.